as you do your calculations in electronics, everything from Ohm's law to power laws, other types of um, uh, calculations requiring calculation of amperes, and watts, uh, volts, and so forth, you're going to need to convert these particular values between, say, thousandths into powers of ten, or in thousandths to get uh, much smaller values. Because electronics, we often don't get into too many tens or hundreds or thousands of ampers, although they can. A lot of times we work with very small values like a milliamper or a millivolt or a microwatt, those types of things. So, we're going to take a look at the number system. Take a look at our line here. I'm going to put the value of 12 up here. And I'm going to assign some decimal values. And I'm going to continue on here in just a moment. But as we take a look at this first value, it's actually 12. This is in the ones place, the tens place. If I had another one or number here, as long as it's a whole number, it would actually be in the hundreds place, in the thousands and ten thousands and so forth. As we take a look at this particular value then, we can also need to take a look at it, particularly at the really small value. So I'm going to continue onward. I'm going to reassign this over here. I'll put this as a 10. Now I'm going to assign some values. So as we're looking at this, most of our calculations actually are derived down to these particular small values. This one is called the, the milla. So we call this the milla world. It's exists right in this area. This area down here is called the micro. Down here we get into the nano. And the very last one is into the pico. P-I-C-O. As we take a look at the powers of 10 that these are, we come down here and we see that this is 1 times 10 to the minus 3rd. This one down here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Micro is 10 to the minus 6. Going on down, 10 to the minus 9th, and pico is 10 to the minus 12th, or 1 trillionth. <clears throat> Let's say that uh, we have something we're going to actually calculate, say, 1 milliamper. So if we're taking a look at this, it's not up here in the tens, ones, or hundreds place. It's down here in the decimal values, way down below. So let's take a look at this one right here, point zero zero one. If we look at this as the decimal, we're actually looking at this as being one thousandth. It's actually ten to the minus third for this calculation. However, we can get away from using the powers of ten if we use these particular denotations as prefixes. We have the prefix of milla, ten to the minus third, micro, ten to the minus six, and so forth. Let's take a look and see what we have here. So instead of writing 0 .001 or plugging it into my calculator all the time, I can plug this in as point, excuse me, as just one milliamper. This is actually what uh, you would put into your calculator, and this is probably what your meter will read here. So if we've got this part, this part, and right here, we bring this one up here, and we're going to assign the milla because milla is all within this particular range right here. Let's say that I wanted to take a look at 10 milliampers. Well, I'm going to move this up one, point zero 0.01, because the zeros to the right of the value are not used. So point zero 0.01 would now change this to 10 milliampers. And if I had, say, 100 milliampers, that would be the same thing as saying point 0.1. So I'm using ampers as a as the actual electrical unit, you can use volts or watts. There's a lot of different times of just you use uh, uh, electrical values and they uh, just have milla in front of it or micro. And in a lot of cases, when we're working with these, this is what our test equipment will be calibrated to. Put it into a calculator. We either put it in as a full decimal value like here, or we need to change it into a power of 10 value. Let's go down into this world here a little bit, in the micro world. I'm going to label this one right here. It's Milla. I'm 
going to talk about the micro world, 10 to the minus 6. We can do the same exact thing with putting numbers in here that we did with this, and then we can call it the micro whatever. Let's say we want to start out here, and we're going to use one micro something. In this particular case, we're going to talk about one microamper. And then decimally, this would be the same thing as writing point zero 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 one. So these are actually the same exact thing. It's just that we've abbreviated all these six zeros places, and we're going to assign it a micro because it actually extends down into this area here. <coughs> Let's say we're going to change from one microamper. Let's say we want to take a look at maybe ten microampers. So Write 10 micro ampers, volts, watts, whatever the units you're using. This would be the same thing as saying decimally 0 0.00001. Now notice that we've got a 10 here. For, this is the micro place, 10 to the minus 6. This becomes 10 to the minus 5th at this point. So as we move this up here, we're going to go from once part, tens, and then hundreds. <coughs> So let's take a look at this. We actually want 10 microampers. We now have the decimal value of this, and this is a way that we could put this into our calculator, or we could actually put it in as the power of 10, which would be 1. Go to exponents. We're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the minus 5th. And that actually is going to be our 10. Let's say I want to put 100 microampers. At 100 microampers, we're going to take that 1 and bring it up one more decimal unit. So now we've got this part right here. This is still the micro. This is still one microamper in this place. But when I move that 1 to the left, it's actually going to go 100 places, or it's going to be 100 microampers. So coming from 1 microamper, 10 microampers, 100 microampers, and if we needed to go beyond that, which does happen, we're going to take it up into the, the Miller world. What does that do? Well, if we take a look at this, let's say I have 1, 0, 0, 0, and we're going to have to assign a prefix to know what we're talking about. We're not talking about 1,000, or say 1,000 milli, or 1,000 by itself. At this place, we're down here. It is possible to come all the way up here, and we're going to call this 1,000. I'm going to abbreviate micro with a Greek symbol, mu. And now I can assign whatever unit I want. I now have 1,000 microampers. It's the exact same thing as right here we had 1 milliamp. So 1,000 microampers is the same thing, 1 milliamp. As we progress down using the nano and the pico, it's the exact same process. Just that instead of using these powers of 10 up in here, they actually go to, 10 to the minus 9 and to the minus 12. The same procedure that we use to go from here up into here for the, say, the ones, tens, and hundreds place for this particular group of powers of 10, it's the exact same thing down here. So 100 nano seconds, say, 100 change that to nanoseconds, that would be the same thing as 100 nanoseconds. It's the same thing as, say, maybe 0 0.1 0 0.1 microseconds. As we take a look at these, you can begin to see, this is pretty useful. This is pretty versatile. I can go and use this value, or I could use that one. This depends on how the test equipment reads and how you need to put this into your formula to do your calculations. Try this with different examples. Try something like this. What is 25 milliampers? We're going to put this in full amperes. It's going to be a decimal value. Try something like 100 microampers. And how many milliampers is that? Add the example right here. And take a look and see if this doesn't work for you. And then try it with other values going into nanosecond or nanoampers or picowatts, something like that. It does work. Just try it, work with it, and it is something that you have to keep working with to get more proficient.